All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to tell a fake Takata from a real Takata's. Um, I got scammed recently, so hopefully this will prevent some of you guys from scam getting scammed. Also, it's uh, the new set of fake Takata's are really really hard to distinguish from the real ones. You might have a different set of fake ones, but uh, on the left side here, I have a set of real Takata's uh, from Japan. And on the left, I have an eBay version that I got that says it's 100%. Even the seller thinks it's a, it's a real one, but it's not. Now, I'm going to go through the basics. So the left side is 100% real. You might have a different fake one, but uh, we'll go over the main key points here. First, the box has to be Takata black and green. Okay? Some copiers, as you can see, this new copy, they, they copied the box too. Same black box. Okay? The major thing is you'll see that here where this uh, white dot is, that should be a sticker instead of a print. The real box will have a yellow sticker on what series it is, okay? Also, we'll have the barcode on the left side. As you can see, the fake one does not have it, okay? Open the box. The box inside the cardboard should be 100% black, which both are. Uh, this is a note the scammer sent me. All right, uh, the pamphlet is in the Japanese one okay you should have a Japanese pamphlet alright as you can tell from the first look they look almost 100% identical but I will give some major key points that will distinguish uh, two things out of the way real quick that you guys can't tell uh, with the video is the real one weighs a lot more than the fake one and the material quality the way it feels is uh, on the real one is 100% 10 times better than the fake one you can definitely tell by the feel of it that the real one is a thicker, heavier material. Especially with the metals. The latches and stuff, we'll go over that. And it's a lot thicker and uh, heavier duty instead of the aluminum stuff they give you. Alright, so uh, first thing is the patch. As you can see, both of these have the Takata patch on it. Um, the older fake ones had the Takata Corporation on them. But the new fake ones don't. All right, so let's take a quick look at the fake stitching here. If you can see, the stitching uses a green thread. All right, eighth inch by eighth inch, and uh, it's a different color. I don't know if you can tell. And the real ones, as you can see, you it's the same thread they use, so you can't tell that it's there. But on the fake one, you can clearly see the stitching all the way across. Okay, on the ends of the real one, you'll have double stitching. Okay, double stitching. On the fake ones, they don't. Another major with the stitching is, on the real one, here's the key one here, is that this diamond shaped stitch has four. One, two, three, four stitches. On the old fake ones, they had, I believe, seven. On the new fake ones, now they have three. As you can see, the fake one and the real one is clearly visible what's real and what's fake okay uh, latches and buckles as you can see they've uh, copied the serial number already with the new fake ones F1501 and F1051 F1051 is the fake one okay F1501 is the real one alright next up uh, the tags if you look at the higher part, see this Takata belt, your expiration tag, right above it. You go look at the real one, right above it. It should be up and down. The fake ones will be upside down. Okay, right one's the fake, left one's real. As you can tell, also the material. This uh, this ribbon will be painted green ribbon. But um, the real ones will have a real green ribbon, uh, actually green ribbon. Also, you can see bottom and top stitch with the serial number. The fake ones uh, also have copied this. Okay? Just keep that in mind. But the main thing is, is you can see real close at the end of this that this was a white and black ribbon and it was painted green. And the real ones are real green ribbon. Okay. All right. Uh, next thing we can go over is the buckle itself. 
Now, I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, the left one is real, and the right one is not. Alright, uh, you can't see it clearly, but the carbon fiber here is a sticker. Even though the real one is a sticker too, but it's a dry carbon fiber. And this one is a glossy, like fake carbon fiber on it. Also, this uh, piece on top of the two-part latch is plastic, and the real one is metal. The real one is all metal. It's heavy, real heavy. The fake one is a, a metal plastic composite so it's way lighter as you can see they copy the the Takata on the back also as you can see the difference between the real one and the fake one here this is a uh, plastic this one's metal as you see it's a really good copy but definitely not the real deal okay if you, I wish you guys could feel this you can definitely 100% tell um, couple things to look at more is the stitches like quality um, the fake ones the Takata would never let this uh, pass their inspection see that uh, bad stitching there there's also little flaws like the ends here have been burnt okay not very nicely poor quality poor quality all throughout so hopefully you guys can uh, help distinguish the reels from the fake because there's a lot out there and uh, hopefully this helps you guys but those are some major key points there okay thank you